Oh, I gotta set up the show because he's not talking. <laughs> uh, welcome. This is a zero page homebrew. This is Halloween edition uh, to the show. And that today we're gonna play um, exclusively Halloween themed games. And so, also, if you've got some stuff going on and you wanna like uh, anything to the, on this show, if you've got favorite horror movies, you wanna talk about anything horror related, you've got scary stories, things that have happened to you, we're dying literally dying to hear about it and also um that's right steve jobs thank you i was wondering how quickly someone would figure it out this is the plan good job <laughs> <laughs> yes welcome to zero page homebrew uh like Carolyn said halloween edition so we're that's gonna right. play all halloween games <laughs> we've got some homebrews um not too many actual homebrews made like scary Ooh. halloween so i had to throw in some hacks as well and for the people who don't know what hacks are they are existing games with things changed in them usually graphics at at the minimum and sometimes they make um different oh, hair in my face sometimes they make um different play fields different mazes if it's a That's maze right. game but mostly it's graphical hacks and sometimes audio hacks as well i was um james i was trying yes. to think about what would be the scariest thing <laughs> for the homebrew audience and I'm, i was thinking steve jobs is a good go at this That's because this guy scary. manufactures things that nobody can hack <laughs> That's r oh wow man. <laughs> well some people can but i was yeah. like you know everything can closed and proprietary That's right. you and you can't, can't get manipulate into it. anything yeah. I, I think in a world where steve jobs manufactured all products we wouldn't have homebrew that's that is true that's yeah. right so i was like it's what's very the scary... difficult to uh inject your own programs into, into the closed walled that's garden right. of uh, of apple yeah so so right now i'm i'm the scariest thing for homebrew <laughs> that's right that's my feeling that works <laughs> you tied it in you tied it in <laughs> that is the plan. so welcome uh this is where we play new games on classic consoles broadcasting at 60 frames a second that's right. And uh, I've added that. <laughs> Great explanation. <laughs> <laughs> That's work, good. Work for Splendid Nut. Hey, man, we got Splendid Nut is on He's board. He's on board. He's so yeah. on board. Uh, best Steve Jobs is a Michael Fassbender. Yeah, that's your vote yeah. for Best Steve Jobs. Ashton Kutcher is... Uh, way down. Yeah, way down. <laughs> there's There's been many movies made about that, even while he was alive. Um, so many people have played him. I, I don't know the rest of them, but... but uh, um, that's the, that's the, those are two spectrums, best and worst. That's right. Uh, so we have a bunch of games. I don't think this list I have right here is up to date. So oh I'm going to go oh God. read it off of that screen so I won't be looking at you for a okay. second because I know this is up to date. Um, so what we had playing uh, while you guys were waiting, that little screen there was the video jack-o'-lantern demo uh by atari 2600 land he happy made halloween tiki dan k uh, yes happy halloween to everybody and to you dan k uh by atari land he made it in 2013 we're also going to play happy halloween candy catcher strange things barb's revenge yes tombstones freddy's fear factory blair witch project elvira monsters revenge skeleton plus and Tire Tracks Zero Page Halloween Edition. Damn. Okay, and I know like 50% of these references. <laughs> I'm doing yes, well. That's pretty good. Hi, Tiki Dan. And uh, all the graphics that you see around us, that you see in the corners on your screen, were made by Pac-Man Red in 2012. Wow, thanks, Pac-Man. So he uh, posted them in the Atari Age forums way back when I ran across them I to, months ago. I suppose he said I ago. missed the demo. Oh, well, you can download it on the Atari Age forums. Just look for Video Jack-O-Lantern. And it's like a, a jack-o-lantern, a huge one on the screen, and there's like lightning that goes every once in a while, and it says Happy Halloween scrolling across the bottom. That's right. Oh, and the, we've got the Atari pumpkin over there. Uh, we've got some candy here and little tiny right, i'll probably pumpkins. eat candy while james plays and just uh, to we'll, complete the experience that's right <laughs> we'll pass it off back and forth uh i'll eat the candy while you play that's right um so yeah the pac-man red made all these sprites he said time for my scary sprite countdown to halloween my plan is to post a sprite a day until halloween but i'm behind two days so i'll post two sprites now so he did 30 
wow. scary sprites, and they're all really good. They are um, 16 wide. So my favorite two one is ones. that one. I like yeah, that the one green guy. I think that's cool. It's, They're all great, but for, I think that one is the most interesting to me. What's that your favorite? is really well done. Um, I really like what he did with the the mask over on your side. Oh yeah, directly over there. The, <laughs> and you look over it as if you could see it. As if I could see it. I'm like, what's oh, right where here? Is it? Where's the mask? Um, just because of the coloring, the red on the top, and the use of shading is really, really nicely done. Yeah. And these are all all fully able to be done on the 2600, all these sprites. They are 16-bit wide. Um, wow. So if you see two colors on the same line, that's one thing is colored one and one thing's colored the other, so it's, it's cut by eight bits. So it's all perfectly able to be done. So they're really, really creative. He he has tons of graphics that he's posted um, in the forums. So he's he's really good at it. Um, so the I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Zybot sixty seven in the chat, Dan K, Splendid Nut, Muddy Funster, and everybody else that's just lurking and not typing. And uh, everybody who are Twitch subscribers Ooh. as well, thank you for uh, supporting the show. Atari Spot, a Tasty Sandwich, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I Posta, Jeffrey Twenty One Twenty Three, Mister Fix, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. That's right. Also, we got some some moody lighting going on. Yes, here. it's a little bit. If you notice, there's some, there's some shadow. Yeah, yeah. Play. And uh, for those who tuned in late, this was my mask but i can't use the mask yeah, while it's, playing it's, it's too it's, hard it would be a mistake for sure yeah to, to do <laughs> a whole see, show can't breathe can't talk it's, we just it's, watched that movie this weekend it we was, did we uh started a uh john carpenter uh festival so oh, it's all great. kind of horror films and i think it's like 10 for about 40 hours worth of films so uh, we finished day one, and there's four more days to go. That's right. So it'll take us into early December, I think. Yeah. And if you want to support the show, uh, if you have uh, Twitch Prime or um, Amazon Prime, you link up Amazon to Twitch, and you can just click Donate somewhere around here and click the button. You support the show for free if you have Twitch Prime. So uh, we've got a poll question tonight. Oh. And the poll Ooh. is, how many kids do you normally get to your house, uh, to your door on Halloween? Let's see. Oh, oh there we go. So zero, that's answer one. <laughs> that's answer, number one. Answer two is one to five. <laughs> answer three, six to ten. Answer four, eleven to twenty-five. Mm -hmm. And answer five, twenty-six and above. So you get lots of kids. So the past six years that we've been here... We have a total of zero children. Really? Have come to the door. Um, because we're in like a kind of townhouse complex. Yeah, it's, it's not an and obvious. And we're kind of around the back too. So it looks like the back entrance. Plus, kids don't normally go to apartment buildings or no. townhouse complexes. If you had like an arrow system or some sort of a like trail indication. of pumpkins. Yeah, then you would go, oh, you'd feel invited. Yeah. But it's definitely. It's not inviting no. at all. Yes. 110. That's not an answer. <laughs> if you have 110 kids, press five on your phone. That's right. That's good though, man. 110 That's a lot. Kids. Of That's a lot kids. of candy. Holy to hand crap! Out. Um, so Muddy Funster has one to five. I I always forget to vote, but I can vote too. There we go. <laughs> zero. Yeah. Zero kids. <laughs> zero page homebrew has zero kids. Zero kids. So it works out, you know. Oops five. <laughs> Oops five. So don't worry, it didn't register your first answer because that wasn't an answer. Um, so we're going to play uh, Happy Halloween, which is a uh, work in progress from 2007. I have to still call it a work in progress because it was never finished. There you go. But you never know. We've got to keep our terminology straight. Yep. That's important. Uh, done by Atari 2600 Land. I invite you to get into the Halloween spirit a little early oh. and play this work in progress, which will be a limited edition release, released by Sean Sr. on October 1st. Oh, maybe you did finish it. Just in time for Halloween. I plan to limit this to 4K, and I don't have a price set yet. Everything is still in early stages. There's 10 screens so far. What do you think? Pick this up. Ooh, okay. And what, which is the first one? We're doing... So it is called Happy Halloween. So just towards the bottom there. Oh, there we go. 
So let's switch over. Bam! Okay, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, let me get up oh, the instructions oh. for here, but you can give it a go. Oh, whoa, wait. This is a hack. This is a hack of a game we've already played. Oh, whoa. what was this called? Is this like... Okay, I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, I think I'm understanding. Oh, and this one, you actually run out of moves. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I've made some mistakes. <laughs> I've, already I've made, made mistakes. I've already made some mistakes. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I know what we need to do. Not that. Let me oh, God. open up the instructions. I can't remember what the actual... Oh, yeah. It's Halloween and Fred the Jack-O-Lantern has a sweet tooth for candy corn. Help Fred get the candy corn by navigating the mazes to the pieces of corn. Uh, title screen, switch, select, select level so you can... Bam! One move okay. left. You got it. I think, um... Uh, joystick, move Fred. Fire, reset the level. How to play. Tap the joystick in the direction you want Fred to move. Fred will keep moving until he either hits a border or a block. Each level has a set number of moves like this you can make. Each level starts Damn. with the maximum number of moves you can make. Once the move counter reaches zero, the walls will become black. In which case you can press fire to try again. If you get the candy corn while the walls are black, you try the level over again. A star. That's no, the mistake. name of it. That's a mistake, James. So oh, yeah, God. Atari Cat is around here. Wanna come up here and say hi? Come here. No. He's running around. Yeah, so this was made into another game that we already did play on the show. Um, and it's exactly the same, just with different um, different graphics. So, I'll let you play this game, because I already did play the game. Oh, you're almost there. Come here. You almost have to work backwards a little bit while you're going forward. No. Come on. Come on. Okay, I got it. Ooh, ooh. Cat. Cat. Oh, did he switch the graphics? There we go. I think he pressed something on the keyboard that switched the graphics over. At least he didn't stop the broadcasting. Do you want to get kicked out? This is how you get kicked out. Oh, did you finish the level? Yeah, but awesome. I'm like trying to figure out this is not an easy game. <laughs> no, it is not. It is, uh, especially when you have 17 moves, there's a lot of moving and adjusting and backtracking. Uh, uh, it's difficult. I'm trying to wrap my brain. Right. Not... <laughs> Still have nine to... moves left. Yeah. But yeah, this was A star. So uh, I think this obviously came first because he didn't reference um, the game anywhere. A star, so I think he just took this and adapted it. And it's not a hack. Let's see if it says anything in. Oh, people are like giving solutions with left, down, up, left. There we go. Oh, no, okay. No, Albert comes in and 2007 says. Just spent a few minutes playing the game. It's very much like A Star. Yeah, people are like, oh god, I mean, oh. I've never played A Star, but um, but I'll... with more levels. But that's not a problem, as there aren't enough puzzle type games for the 2600. So I'm always happy to see more. Title screen is nice, as well as a Halloween theme music that plays. Um, interesting. That this person didn't. Is it the same person who made A Star? No. Oh, God, I've already been there down this path. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Okay, okay. This is tricky. I thought you finished this one. No. Okay. I'm trapped. Whoa. Yeah, I kind of just put you back there. <sighs> hmm. It's tricky. It's very, very tricky. If you could kind of end up up against that one at the top you can move over to the right but how do you get there oh there you go up to the right oh. you just got to get there quicker okay so now you know how did i do it i don't even remember <laughs> okay we're gonna we're gonna get there again though oh god how did i 
do it? <laughs> hmm. How did I do it? Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, there you go. Do you have enough moves left? Three, two, two one. one. Oh, okay, thank God. Okay, this is go. not a... Okay, this is your last level. This is my last level? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We got a lot of games. Oh, yeah, and just watching me, like, do this puzzle stuff is maybe probably not the most... Uh, <laughs> yeah, puzzle. Inspiring. Puzzle stuff is not super uh, visually exciting. No. Okay, I've made some mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you're going in a circle now. I'm just gonna die. Okay. okay. One more chance. Bam, 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 bam. No, maybe no. some... No. Yes! Ooh! Yes? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> You're back where you were. Going in a circle. Oh, there you go. Left. Left. Up. Right. Oh. It's too small <laughs> for you to get through. I was worried Sorry. about that. That's what I was thinking might happen. It's all good. Oh, I had it. Okay. Oh, Let's move on to the next game. Okay. Bring it over. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Okay. Okay. Hold uh, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was, okay, cool. Let's ready? do it. Let's do it. I better move that. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay. Bam. Okay, which is the next one? So, the next game, I don't have little graphics for each of these games. Sorry. There's yeah, we got so many. many games, man. This is great. So okay. So, we're going to have a lot of selection. Okay, which is the next one? The next one is Candy Catcher. Candy Catcher sounds like it's going to be full of fun. Okay, we got Final Pal and S NTSC. NTSC. Because we live in North America. Good. Even though we could play Pal. Uh, this one is by D-I-S-J-A-U-K-I-F-A. -I Disc Joe Kifa? We oh, made this God. in 2011. You have zero points totally. Oh. In total so far. Oh, ten. Oh, I, I've been messing up. I thought I was... Did I jump yet? Oh, you squished him. Um, so he says, Hey guys, this is my attempt to develop and release an Atari 2600 homebrew game before Halloween, which I've named Candy Catcher. This makes sense. Uh, here are screenshots of the game and the cartridge label. The objective of the game is simple. Oh, Candy Catcher. Catch as much candy and, and, and don't. However, you have to beware the robot that comes and tries to hit you. Of course there's a robot. There's always a robot. There's always a robot. Scary robot. So we've got a Halloween pumpkin kind of thing. Bunch of candy. Very on theme. I'm understanding this uh, activity now. Yeah. Good. Uh, if you catch candy, 10 points. Jump and crush the robot, 15. If you miss a piece of candy, uh, minus one point. So Whoa. Not, not much of a... Whoa! Not much of a deterrent if you if you miss, so it's not that big a deal. You get hit by a piece of candy, minus five. The robot grabs a piece of candy, minus ten. Come on, robot. The robot hits you, game over. Uh, this the... is like, there's there was a game which was called Fruit Ninja. Yeah. And you just... Slice, slice. Yeah, this feels like Fruit Ninja. Very, very similar, except you're catching instead of slicing. But Fruit Ninja would throw the fruit on the screen. That's right. And to slice it so this we're is the most friggin uh halloween themed game that there is <laughs> what's robot just runs <laughs> sprints out of nowhere okay okay back to zero i feel oh, like oh, yeah. i feel like this is like one of those games we do for like high scores it, yeah this like is what just... do we do the 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 one with that we played last week which was like super intense seaweed assault yeah i feel like this yep. is this is like the halloween version of seaweed assault <laughs> you know Oh. Except with robots. Oh, 72. So okay. this is the easy difficulty. Oh, God. Uh, the, after the first three times you smash the robot, the robot uh, speed will increase. Oh, yeah. I robot know. looks like the one in Berserk. It does. It is very square body and very square head and little one eye. Oh. oh, not quite. You bit your toe. So let's go to the hard one. Let's find out how, how hard. How Might hard have, is hard? Might have to reset, but... Uh, this is on Pro. Both the frequency and the speed of the robot will increase for the first three times you oh, smash the robot. Yeah. The score is in red in color. Now we're on Pro. Okay, good. So the robot speeds up 
uh, quickly. The, oh, it does say, the reason be behind the design of the player sprite and the robot sprite is my tribute to Berserk. So, Zybot got it right, and I supposed to also notice the score font is from Berserk as well. Uh, I supposed to? Yeah. Hey, I What doesn't to. I supposed to know? Right? He knows it all. He's been around. He knows everything. He's the watchful eye. <laughs> he is, he knows. Uh, I use the multi sprite oh, kernel and Batari it basic. Out of nowhere. 200. Uh, 4K limit, so he made this under 4K. And this was for sale at some point. So there are cartridges of this that exist. I'm going to take a bite. I killed that. My spooky food. <laughs> Halloween themed food. That's right. She snuck some meat in there. Oh no! Uh -uh. <laughs> that would be scary. Because yeah, James is a vegan. I don't know if anyone knows that. If there's like a like a like. Hey, boy, a, my secret. Well, like a secret James fact. One of the facts I know about James is his FAQ. Vegan. <laughs> Somebody's typing up an FAQ right now. That's right. Wikipedia. Zero page homebrew. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm not gonna hang out. Whoa! Whoa! See, I was just, I just stay thought in the it. center. That's what I was thinking. Oh my god! Man. I'm like, don't. But you can't stay in the center because there's candy. <laughs> Spaghetti berserker is so crazy. <laughs> He's so fast. He's okay. going berserk. That's okay. For sure. Oh god. Whoa! That was close. I'm like losing all my candy because <laughs> of this thing. He's so fast. Okay. <laughs> he just sprints. I can't even like time it. Okay, I'm doing my best I've done so far. In your oh. face, Berserker. He's gonna run the other way. I'm certain. Of it. Oh, does he come out alternate? No. Uh, no, but I was like, I was just thinking. Like, you were thinking it was gonna do that. Take that, Berserker. Oh God, I'm not going. Oh, oh. see, I was like, I was like, I can't do it. Okay, okay. four twelve. Okay. That's my time to beat. Or score to beat. So he comes out slow at first, right? Oh, I suppose I said I'm making a hack from Berserker to Doctor Who. I had to flip the zero because it's backwards. I mean, oh. candy. I don't even care. Candy's being <laughs> Candy is consumed. Yeah, I think I read about that in the forums. And you're going to have some... You're going to do some speech for it as well, I think. Because he's the guy who does all the speeches. I supposed to? Yeah. He's the audio dude. Oh, he's quick. Not quite the speed he was when in your game, but he's getting up there. Yeah. Now he's speeding. Oh! I suppose I'm looking at buying some new speakers and I'm looking at Tannoy's. That's my plan. Oh. Just, just for, I don't know, since you're an audio guy, <laughs> you might know. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna move on. Oh god. We've had our fill. Okay. Right Tannoy 402. Button. Reveal. That's my plan. Those are, that's, those are the speakers I'm gonna buy. I think. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. How big are they? Just like stiff. They're four inch. Yeah, so the studio super small. speakers. Tiny. Yeah. Monitors. Just so, monitors. yeah, just yeah. so I can, like, have something that's better than nothing. Nothing. <laughs> than the built-in on your, yeah, for your sure. monitor. Has samples. Wanted to add Atari Box. Oh, very cool. Mm. So, next one is Stranger Things. Uh, Barb's Revenge. Have you this... seen Stranger Things? Uh, yes, I, I love did. that show. It's First so season good. was amazing. Second season was, eh, it's fine. But the kids dance in the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> have to have a romantic subplot. That's right. Now this is a hack of Dig Dug. I don't know if you've ever played Dig Dug before. I have played Dig Dug. This is by Keebs in 2018, February. So this is a relatively new uh, hack. So don't skip. Oh, intro Sorry, screen no. so quick. Okay. There's like artwork there. Okay, I was so excited. <laughs> Look I was at so that. excited for Barb's Revenge. Crazy. So it's got the little title. It's got her glasses there. Um, arcade in season two was awesome. That's yeah, right. That it is a big so bonus. Good. Um, so it says Keebs, copyright 2018. Okay, go for it. Okay. Mm. So you're the guy coming in. The button is to, um, blow them up or whatever it is in this one. So you have to dig your tunnel. Those are rocks that fall down and can kill you. Okay, that's not good. Okay, you gotta start blowing things up. You have, okay. to, you have to, like, hit them three or four or five times. Okay. Uh -uh. 
There we go. I'll go after that guy. Pull him up. There we go. Bam! Take that. That's a whole game. Face. And you can drop the rocks on the enemies as well. So that's the last guy, and he's oh, okay. gonna try and escape. Nice. He's scared now. Oh, Atari, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he's helping you out. Okay. Everyone else forgot about Barb, and now it's time for revenge. Help Barb as she claws her way out of the Upside Elm. That's right. Fight darts, demo dogs, and demo gorgons with a trusty flashlight and your wits. Demo gorgons? Oh. So that's a flashlight you have. Oh, you won't catch up now. No! Oh, God. Waffles, big glasses, bikes, and other power-ups are found along the way. Yes, I want some big glasses. And be on the lookout for 11. Okay, I'm gonna get killed. There you Damn. go, you got one. Nice. Oh, careful, That's don't look that. right there. Yep. Perfect. Yes, okay. Kill everything in good short stuff. order. That's a crazy game. This is cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's fashioned after a very classic arcade game. Yeah. So. Atari is just <laughs> hanging out his like faces. Yeah. Hey buddy. Doing a face plant. Oh, watch out. There you go. Yeah, if you blow them up once or twice it kind of stuns them in place. Oh god. Oh, too close. There's two in there. Two, 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 two. Oh, oh God! There's two. No, there's only one. Uh, ice poster says, "Drop two rocks and you get a, a item bonus, a bonus object." Oh um, God! Okay, there no, we go. You're running right into him. There you go. Let's see how I can do. Let's see how you can. Isn't that cat the best? This is so nice. Yeah. He's the sweetest cat. Oh, I'm continuing where you are. It's a cooperative game now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like you couldn't have done what I did. You probably did it better. Do you do? This is cool. This is a classic. Oh, yeah. Let's drop some rocks. first. Oh, I see how this rock situation Oh, there we go. ST. Hmm. Some points. <laughs> don't know what ST stands for. Stranger Things, I guess. Stranger yeah. Things must be. Yep. Okay, dude. You're gonna try and escape. Not this way. Oh, oh! Can I get him? Yeah. Yeah, it could work. Thanks for the hint, Ice Bosta. About dropping the rocks. Saving our butt. How do you feel about horror movies? Uh, not... It depends what you mean by horror. That's... Like, if it elicits a, a reaction of this is horrific, yeah. then I'm all for it. If it's just like people being torn apart or stabbed or things like that. Suffering for... Just suffering for no reason at all just because they're there. Eh, no. Not my cup of tea. Kind of boring and pointless. Yes, um, and as soon as someone starts behaving stupidly, it, it like immediately <laughs> gets bad. Why don't we just walk into this house with uh, yeah. without our things? We should really split up right now. But some people, some people love those. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, get them, get those stupid teenagers. And they just, <laughs> yeah. But I think it's interesting. There's there's two different kinds of people. There's the people who are rooting for the bad guys. There's people rooting for the the teenagers, <laughs> and and I think I, I think I flip flop between the two sometimes. Is the is the teenager acting dumb? I'm like, okay, this is oh, by Atari. Bye. We had our moment. Yeah, you had your time with Atari. Now he must move on to other people, and spread his love, 
this cat. Moving on to things like the floor. You know, <laughs> the just, floor. You know, this guy's got some shit to figure out. He's got stuff he's doing. Yeah. But things... Whoa. Like, like it's like tense movies or Did you psycho... Did a swastika? Uh, not intentionally, if there is one. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> um, it's not fully, but it's no, looks getting closely. there. It's very it's close. A, it's a terrible swastika. It's suspicious. Um, psychological, psychological horror, where kind of? yeah, where yeah, people like, are like, I don't know what's going on. My mind's playing tricks on me, or you know. Or just tense on your oh, You got this, you got this. Like, um, you know, say Silence of the Lambs. Is that a horror film? Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. I remember my, that was like the movie that like, I was forbidden to watch. <laughs> well, it's got some stuff in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's for sure. Um, but it's it's got a lot of tense moments. Yeah. Like in the, especially the end in, in the dark. With the, oh, that's brutal. That's yeah, so she, good with like the she night can't vision see, goggles. But the other guy and... can see. You know, it's brilliant, brilliant uh, writing and, and great film again. Hannibal Lecter and all that stuff. Yeah. And have you seen so any, much to it? Have you seen any of the uh, the sequels to it? Mm, uh, Red Dragon and Hannibal. And... Um. didn't make an impact on me obviously yeah red dragon's cool but... uh that is the direct sequel that, that that's is the, the prequel. prequel it has ray fines in it yeah that's one and, i don't think Seymour i did Hoffman. See. he's good yeah um oh, but yeah, of course the first um uh uh the first uh appearance of Hannibal Lecter was played by brian cox and it was actually in, in michael mann's mind hunter it's not very. It's not very good. Some people love it. It's fine. It's you know. not. It's not. Michael Mann is not like my favorite filmmaker. But... What else did he do? Oh, he did Heat. Heat is, Which is really good. Yeah, Heat is great. That's, like, that's, his that's crowning that's achievement. Right? Very much so. Whoa, 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 almost close to death. Yeah, very close to death. Let's make a little path. There it's you go. so funny to me, like the Stranger Things thing, where like it was. It came uh, out. After Stranger Things, the new, re the, new yeah. remake of it, but it was like it. People got super excited about all this like '80s nostalgia. Oh yeah, that was the big, and then, big push but, where the studios went. Yeah, we can sell this. But it's like Stranger Things was like inspired by it, and then it was then inspired <laughs> by Stranger Things. It's this great thing, and you also like the it's synth kind of music funny. of like yeah. Stranger Things being like John Carpenter. -y, so oh good. yeah, that whole the, the whole vibe of season one was just perfect. They didn't shove it in your face. It was just there, you know? Took its time. They're not like, we're so 80s. Oh my God, everything in this show is 80s, right? We're going to play video games now. No, Dungeons it was just... Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I mean, it was just there. And, you know, people played Dungeons and Dragons and went to arcades. They, But they didn't overplay it, I don't I don't feel, anyway. No, I, 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 I totally... Yes! Okay, good work. Maybe I'm too good at this. We might have to stop. <laughs> I do have it set to level A. No, I think I switched it. Hey, that. Arena Foot. Welcome, Arena Happy Foot. Halloween, Arena. Happy Halloween. Arena Foot uh, suggested some of these games. Thanks, dude. don't remember which ones he suggested, but he can chime in if he remembers. And I also put this out to the to the audience, to the Atari Age forums, and uh, took some suggestions as well of uh, which games to play. Okay, I'm going to give up because okay. it just keeps going and going, and they can't put more sprites on the screen, so it's not going to get any harder. That's right. Okay, press down B. Done. And we'll see what is next. So we're gonna just finish giving out Halloween candy and picking up decorations, Ooh. like off the floor. Not from a store, because no. it's over, right? They're on East Coast or close to that. Uh, and hey, Grand Trooper. Yeah, we just did some Barb's Revenge. James is like was really good at it. Yeah, it might have been on easy level, though. It was on A, so that might have been easy, like kids level or something. So we're going to play a little bit of Tombstones. This was uh, suggested by Arena Foot. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Arena Foot says he loves the icons around the screen. I thought it 
We'd get into the That's Halloween right. the, mood, yeah. and there's candy on the 2600. It's an Atari 2600, or the Atari logo pumpkin in the corner. I remember this oh, game. Oh, yeah, actually, we're gonna set this, sorry, reset it. We need to go to electric mode. So run into that brick that you just made, and if you die, we're on the right mode. No, run into it. No, no. okay. You gotta set this. Okay. Stop pressing button, if you are. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good. Should I try it? Okay, I gotta... Okay, to get to electric mode, you need to press select from the title screen. Uh, you can switch between modes from there. The screen will say which mode you're on. Only the left difficulty matters, the right doesn't do anything. Um, okay. Okay, don't press anything. Okay. Oh, title screen. That's the issue. Reset the game? Yeah, but you can't go to... Can, maybe just die. Just die. Die a bunch of times. But don't press any buttons. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Should I hit it? No. No. Let's restart it. Okay, hold it down. Got it. Let's go back to tombstones, because it says on the title screen. Now, don't press anything. No touching. See, how do you get this title screen back? There we go. See, I, we've never seen that when we played it last time. So don't, there oh, you go. Okay. I think we're good. See, how do you get back to the title screen? I don't know. It's like... Okay, now this is the hard version that we didn't oh, play God. last time. Everything you... And kills everything you. kills me. Okay, yeah. that's that's good. That's good. Because after we played it last time, BJ Best, who wrote this this year, is still a work in progress, said, "Oh yeah, it prob." Oh, that never came up last time, did it? I think so. I think so. Okay, I don't remember that. But anyway, th it was fairly easy, and this is going to be way more of a challenge. Oh yeah, I'm already like down some like things just from like <laughs> just from touching anything. Yeah. Um. Oh, Arena Foot, uh, I decorated the Halloween graveyard in my yes, front yard, agree. so I had to pick up everything before the storm hits at 5 a.m. The oh. storm? Oh, yeah. I was wondering why you'd be cleaning up so early. But yeah, you don't want all your decorations to be like five blocks away. Is there a <laughs> storm? Yeah, I think he lives southeast U.S. Wow. And it's storm season. Oh, he's trapped. <laughs> storm season for like months. That would suck. That's terrible. Battle 4. Okay, I'm doing okay at this game. Mm -hmm. Gives you a chance to eat some food, too, mm -hmm. which is really good. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Sometimes I sit up for the show and I just run out of time. Oh, God, I only got one life and everything's going to kill me. <laughs> this is a nightmare. This is the true Halloween spirit right here. That's right. Oh, God. Come up here. Come up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. So this is Tombstone. Still a work in progress by BJ Best. Mm -hmm. And we played it so uh, about know, a month or so ago. I don't so know what ago. we're going to do about this. There you situation. go. There you go. Uh oh. I would lead him up. I wouldn't bl block that out. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, you touched. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> oh, boy. Now what? You created a maze for your enemies. Oh, oh, it's the last guy. Because you don't really have an indicator. How many I mean, guys are no left? idea. I made it to battle five. This is not bad. Mm. Uh, Rainified says, yes, part of the tropical oh. tropical depression in Texas right now. We'll be here at 5 a.m. I guess at least you know when it's coming. Yeah, that's not so bad at all, but still, it, that's crazy. And it held off for the kids. Oh, it just it takes a default back after a while. Oh, yeah, this is way better than the other version. Yeah. It's just like this challenge difficulty is like insane. Much. Remember these had these crazy names? These guys, there was like, these were like the red. Oh, yeah. Uh, like they were like the red. Red coats or. Red coats know. and you're like the blue people and you have to like <laughs> kill them all and they don't like, they can't like defend against themselves. It felt very like Stephen King-esque. It was kind of like yes. that game that, not that game, what's the one where the lone wanderer? 
Uh, the Dark Tower. Yeah, it felt very Dark Tower. Never read that. That was a terrible movie. <laughs> that was one of the worst. I didn't movies watch the I've movie because it got man. you know bad reviews. I was so, so shocked. How did something with Idris Elba and like um, uh, Matthew McConaughey be so bad? Yeah, it was well, pretty awful. Was it obviously it wasn't bad acting, bad directing, or bad writing? It was. It was actually like I'd say the acting wasn't bad, oh, but okay. it was the like, writing was so bad, and like the scenes were so stupid, and nothing made sense. <laughs> so it was all it, writing, then. and it felt like it felt like they made like a three-hour movie and cut it to like ninety minutes because it was like so quick, like it would be like, like weird and ugh. yeah, like weirdly fast. Okay, come up here. Come down here. A little bit forward. There we go. We'll, we'll just build another wall here. Creating a maze. And the time restarts every time, so that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, but what are, what are people's uh, favorite Halloween movies? Does anyone watch uh, Halloween movies? Or like horror films. Horror films. Yeah, more specifically. But a lot of people do watch the horror films when it when it is Halloween, and I think that's when they come out, too. Yeah, typically. Would I've... you ever make? a horror film or have you considered making a horror film i've thought about it yeah because that's like the go-to for low budget yeah. stuff um oh god ah uh, okay you got saved though by the thing kind of i died though yeah you can't go to oh, you can't lead him out there because you can't go high enough or low enough that's oh, a tricky dawn of the dead that's a great movie yes the new one or the, the old, old one? one i bet it's the Zack snyder one I, I do like the Zack Snyder one, actually. It's, it's it's a cool movie. It's like, and it's also so, like, it feels very iconic for all the zombie movies. 1978. 1978, okay. There you go. Original. I, we, I should know our crowd. Yeah. Our crowd is classic. Yeah, that's true. I like I like the 78 one as well. Ah, ah. Some goofy stuff in it, though. Oh, in the Star Trek uh, The Next Generation movie series? That's great. One. That's good stuff. That's a good horror film. <laughs> Is that what they... What? <laughs> I feel like No, that. I don't think that's part of the horror answer. <laughs> they just happen to watch it. I like Spit even... on Your Grave is intense, man. Oh, I haven't seen that That's one. an intense movie. That that's, falls into the category of... Yeah, I don't want to see that. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, even some sci-fi is horror. Oh, definitely. Like, like you know, Alien. Futurist. The yeah, original exactly. Alien is totally a horror movie. Okay. Should we do another round or a new um, game? I th what time is this? 6.42? We can do another round. But you can go for it again. Oh, Atari's not on camera, but he looks, my favorite, he looks dead. He's I playing think, dead. I think the best one, my favorite one, is called Trick or Treat. Mm. It's like a not so well known horror movie, but the thing that's really cool about it is it's like it's like f like three or four intercut stories. Oh wow! So they're wow. little vignettes, and oh. they're so cool. Separate or? Oh, they're all interwoven. So they're it's all happens over one night, and they... Anna Paquin's in it. Okay. And Brian Cox is in it, and like it's and very. Do they join cool. up or? Oh yeah, oh, okay. you, and and you get to like discover, and so like by the time you get to like the final story, you learn like what happened because things happen in like the first story, and you don't mm. necessarily know like what it means right. but then like reveals itself to you as it goes so it's very cool do you cool. find that cheap or cheating we're holding back information it's and so the audience goes i don't quite know what's going on it's a little bit it has to pay off but trick or treat really is a well. good example of one that just like totally does it very well but mm. it is a little bit on the cheaty end mm -hmm. um because i find myself usually quite frustrated with those types of films well, definitely, like, um, I don't want to ruin anything, but the Kevin Spacey movie, the one that's, like, um, uh, uh, with the very famous reveal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't want, I didn't want to say it in case I even spoil it for anybody, but that's one where it's, like, this unreliable narrator, and it's, like, there's no mm. way from watching that movie... Usual suspects. ...you would ever be able to, like, figure out the ending. No. Right? It's, no. like, and so in that way, it's almost, like, unfair. It's, like, the audience is expected to, like watch this thing and then in the end just be like oh and guess what surprise yeah this whole time this has been happening so i don't like that as much no and a lot of people felt quite cheated i think by that movie because on it has to hold up on a rewatch it, it has to be like still interesting and still good even though you know the ending you know the whatever the twist is what they usually call it but that's just called plot yeah um. <laughs> and i like six sense a lot six sense is great yeah and that works 
on rewatching many times because and it's just so well done. It's amazing too. Like the issue with him is like our expectations at a certain point was to like be uh, to be surprised. Mm. So it was almost like something like The Village. I think is kind of a cool movie, but it's like this reveal is not like surprising. <laughs> it's kind of mm. like it's the issue is is like a magician. Mm. the f first time you see them you can get baited into it but the second time you're like oh I'm watching a magician I feels like that <laughs> way with him you know it's a mm. bad analogy but I was trying yeah. to find something it's that sort analogy. of worked where it's kind of like I think people just expected M. Night Shyamalan to because I saw Penn and Teller here yes but unfortunately you know they're not like a comedian oh god and every tour they have all new jokes yeah or all new um Material. Material. So magic tricks or whatever. So when I saw them, when they came here, it was like, oh, I've seen all of this. So oh, was, God, I'm really getting my ass kicked this round. And they didn't... Some of them held up. It's like, oh, that's still interesting to watch live. Like, they're really, really good at it. But some are like, oh, okay. It's almost like watching athletes with them. Do you mm. know what I mean? Where it's almost like watching these people kind of like perform well, these. Some people love watching <laughs> sports. You I and I are not in that group. Yeah. Hey, Wade Rain. Welcome, Wade Rain. Okay, let's move on. Ready? Okay, I got it. So the next game in our cavalcade of Ooh, games cavalcade. is Elvira. Um... This is from 2008, despite what I say there. Maybe this is a 2018 update. Anyway, I didn't name the file. Thanks, Arena. Yes, thanks for keeping the score. Okay, this was sent to me by Scott Dayton of Neo Games. Um, this, uh, he was going to send me the cartridge of this. Really? But didn't arrive in time, unfortunately. So he sent me over the uh, binary file so I could play it at the time. Um, but this binary is not released, so... There you go. <laughs> I'm very lucky to have it. Um, this is a hack of Asses of Fire by Chris Reed. You know, Terrence and Philip. Yeah, yeah. Um, which apparently was not released either. Uh, so, Elvira, action puzzle game originally, originally completed in 2008. The Grand High Witch has had enough of Elvira taking over all Hallow's Eve. The witch has dog-napped Gonk, Elvira's dog. Elvira must figure out a way to maneuver through explosive pumpkins and other obstacles and defeat the witch to be reu reunited with Gonk. Go for it. Ooh, level one. Um, it's a puzzle game. Solve the room, move to the next. The length of your jump is controlled by how long you press the fire button. This is a good practice level. The floaty low gravity jumping is a key to making it uh, past several obstacles. Oh god. The queen of the Sabbat, rich ruler of all witches, is tired of Elvira taking over. There are five levels to complete. Uh, at, the, at the end of each level, you'll find an object dropped by Gonk to show you the way. After uh, completing... James, I'm not so good how, at How are you platforms. good at platforms? Are you not so good? I'm borderline. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, hello, uh, Jared Gray West. Welcome, Jared Gray West. Thank you for joining our Halloween oh, spooktacular. That's right. Oh, that's a fast-moving pumpkin. I'm getting our spook on. So we're playing all Halloween games, or all scary games. That's least. right. They may not be Halloween-themed, but this one, I would say, is. Anything with a pumpkin, with oh. a carved-out face... I'm gonna, I'm gonna it declare it. Okay, I'm game. just gonna jump over all these pumpkins. Are you ready? <laughs> all at once. Oh, Asses of oh, Fire was good. released, Arena Foot says. Limited to 20 numbered copies. How did you get. Did you. I. Oh, I oh God. okay, it just kind of starts again a little different. Well, these guys are like. Deadly. Oh, God. Okay, I don't know how I'm like. It's like. <laughs> I have like 90. There you hearts. go. Oh. Yeah, how do you keep. Oh, I'm just gonna kind of like, because you got the hearts aren't decreasing, yeah. but your, pur your purple is. Oh God! Jared Gray West says Elvira's quite bouncy when she walks. That was probably part of. That's part <laughs> of the experience. Part my of the friend. experience. We don't talk about that. You, know? it's just, it's you start just... with three lives. Hearts. It's okay to think it. It's just. Yeah, it's not <laughs> saying out loud. <laughs> oh, bite it. Here. Yeah. There Aww. you go. So if you want to okay. read the second paragraph. You start with three lives, hearts, 
and you lose one each time you deplete the no, life No, I don't. Bar. I started with two. At the bottom of the, of the screen. Each time you get hit or fall off the screen, you lose a little of your life bar, and you must start over at the beginning of that level. Okay. Seems like a lot of life, but you may come to situations that seem impossible at first. All levels have a solution. Mm. You can also come across an extra life once in each level. Oh, okay. So can you reach it? <laughs> ah, it's a little out of good a little out of reach. That ah. oh okay, there's God. a note from Scott. The gameplay on Elvira is almost 10 years old, so don't rip it apart too much. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, the A, uh, the A E on the title screen stands for Agus Games, which is uh, Chris Red, uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. Chris Reed. Oh, Reed Red. It's R, R E A D. Could be either way. Chris Chris Reed sounds more. Depends if it's present tense or in the past. <laughs> That's right. Oh God. Red. This hack is based on the game Asses of Fire. It's uh, yeah. never been released. How did you pass this one? one looks really hard. Oh! Not good. It's very forgiving. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't do any of this. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it no. here? No. Oh. You're, you're, you're either farther than I got, or you're, or you're, or, 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 like, changes. It might have, like, a thing. It sort of switches around a little bit. Oh, you... oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna have to go right away. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna have to go underneath that guy. And so we got some, uh... Okay, no, this is a different one. I think that's all ah, that's been said about yeah. Elvira. Yeah. Whoa! Mm. Nope. Oh! Oh, you restart the level. Oh my god. With the after after the you die. Bar, yeah. Oh, no, this is different. This is different. Whoa, this is intense. Kind of glitchy there. It's still. Oh my god. How do you get I... past? This is where you died, right? Yeah, this is around. This is pretty <laughs> much as far as I'm going. Oh my god, how do you do this one? Whoa. They're just taking up the whole screen. Uh. Almost. So Even if I make it there, I'm gonna die. <sighs> Thought it would disappear in time. I think I've got. Oh. Brutal. <sighs> Damn. Sorry. Okay, I'll give it another go. We're gonna we're gonna Elvira level one. Let's see. This is the hardest level right here. Oh. <laughs> that was not good. That was not good at all. Let's see. Asses of Fire. Let's see what the original game was. About. Oh, an idiot. Atari 2600. Um, so Arena Foot says he covered this game in Volume 1. Or maybe not this game, but Asses of Fire in Volume 1. Asses of Fire is a platform game featuring South Park's Terrence and Philip. Okay. Who's Oops. Elvira in the whole kind of mythology oh, of this? No. Too young. Elvira <laughs> is I guess a host. Was she did she appear in actual I'm sure she was in films? Um Let's look up Elvira. Elvira, yeah, she was a actress, gothy actress, named Cassandra Peterson. Cassandra? Yeah. Um, she was in Pee Wee's Big, Big Adventure. Oh, I've seen that. I don't remember her in that. I just watched that not too long ago. That's where he loses his bicycle, correct? That is correct. Okay, I know. Let's see what she was first in. She was in Happy Days for one was episode. <laughs> Just one episode. As girl. Classic part. Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> Not even girl number one. She was just girl. She was the only girl. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this one's a hard one for some reason. Yeah, it's about landing the timing. No, this one. This one is challenging. For some reason, I find that one not too hard. But I can't jump on, like, the first screen. So it looks like she did a lot strange. of bit parts um, for a while. Before she did any horror Based stuff, and then she did Jared like. Jerry is, 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 is she had her own movie. But it bombed. bombed. Yeah, she was a host. The fact that I don't know her doesn't. You know, I mean, I don't know everything for sure. <laughs> yes. But I mean, like the fact that I've never heard of her before doesn't bode well for her like star power. <laughs> Lasting star power yeah, through you know. the eras. No, not so good. Yeah, she pretty oh. much looks like that. Black hair. Wears a black, long, flowing robe. But I don't want to take anything away from Alvaro's career, you know? Like, Elvira. maybe... Oh, God. <laughs> See, I can't even... <laughs> so... Yeah, it looks like she's mostly a host. Oh. Playing herself. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. To the next game. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, got it. Bam. Now, this is Monster's Revenge. Oh, I and we up. did. We must have screwed up. Yep. Hold it down till you see something. There you go. And this is a hack of Alien Revenge. Oh, which one are we doing? Is it? Uh, Monsters okay, Revenge. Let's see it there. Must be more of a U.S. thing. Yeah, I think it was more of a U.S. thing. Whoa! Isn't this like? Yes. It is Alien Revenge. Now apparently, we were playing it incorrectly last time, and we had the auto fire down or something. And why, that's why we were having so much trouble. I wouldn't say. <laughs> my well, yeah. Uh, you are a pump. This was made by... Let me just get this open. It's made by E.A. Smith. Uh, October 2nd, 2018. So this is the newest one that we're playing today. You are a pumpkin shooting seeds at Halloween-themed enemies. Take that! Ghosts. Ghosts and bats and rip uh, tombstones and cats, bouncy cats and striped thing at the top <laughs> shooting things at you. Uh, gameplay, same as my game Alien Revenge. For some reason, I think it looks best in Stella TV mode. Masks some of the graphical imperception, in, imperfections. So the enemies are a mummy. A ghost, a bat, so that's a mummy at the top. Black cat, which we got. A tombstone, oh, and a bloody axe, which I didn't see. Because you shot them all. Um, so last time we played it, Edward said, I think you had some kind of auto fire on while you were playing Alien Revenge. That's why the shield kept coming on. Since the button activated shield is not needed for firing. Just the joystick. How did we get that? What's oh, it's all I need is a joystick. Okay, I we just playing. Oh, I I've been like I've been like shielding it up all the time. That's the whole time. That's why. Whoa, whoa, white out. Oh, I think it's game over. Must have been. Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> just that little key right there. I had yeah, no idea. That's why we we're doing so terrible. Whoa, this is a whole new. It's a brave new world. <laughs> That makes more sense, probably. So we were thinking it was fire, the, the fire button. You can't shoot while you're yellow, only when you're orange. Uh, okay, rough. Yeah, so if you, bullets are going to get you, then you press the button. Uh, bullets are coming. There, see? Saved yourself, but you can't shoot. Hey, I'm learning things. Thank you. It's as if the person who made the game knows how to play the game. Yeah. That's crazy. What is it this? Is really world. crazy. World. <laughs> Thanks, Arena, though. Once again, Arena. Yeah, to the rescue. What the hell? There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. Kill the bat. Okay, good. Alien revenge. Butterflies of the night, James. That's what bats are. <laughs> I like bats. They're very... Very cute. They're very like underappreciated. And they don't bother you. They just flitter around catching bugs that you hate. That's they're, right. They're, they're butterflies really of the night, man. Yeah. The people are people get like so scared. Ah. Yeah, they're not they're not out to get you. Well, there are some blood sucking bats, but usually they go after larger mammals than humans, because like cows and donkeys and things like that. Yeah, you know. 
but I don't think they are around here, those kind of bats. We mostly have fruit bats yeah. um, in uh, Canada. And, like, human beings have eliminated pretty much every threat that we're, like, <laughs> yes. to the point that we're, like, nervous about, like, coyotes yeah it's Whoa, like oh, coyotes oh no meanwhile it's, it's like, a small dog it's, it's, it's just like a <laughs> testament of how much we've dominated the, the the world oh yeah and we're always surprised when there's like a living creature walking the streets yeah it's like, it's like it's, uh oh it's, right out of time two oh, one oh, oh. oh. oh you're starting over right now you can pop in if you want you want to pop yeah in? I'll, I'll give it a try pass over okay oh, i'll put on my shield Probably was a good thing. Oh yeah, candy. Forgot all about the candy. Laffy Taffy and the nerds feels like not a good screen candy. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. Microphone. Uh, it adds to the ambiance, you know. Get some. Uh... Oh, what is it? I lost many uh, children's teeth on Laffy Taffy. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's sticky. Uh -oh, I'm running out of time. One more axe. Tooth Got it. Tooth fairy and laffy taffy <laughs> go together. Yeah, tooth fairy is the perpetrator of putting all the laffy taffy and other hard candies all around. Because money is nothing to a tooth fairy. That's right. She just wants the teeth. Give me the teeth, man. Tooth fairy, if you think about it, is a Halloween-esque fairy. Like, they're like, stealing bones. What's she, what's she doing with all the teeth? Uh, I think I saw some skit once where some guy dressed up as a tooth fairy rolling around in a big pile of teeth. Just like it's a horrific. total tooth fetish. And not just... Not doing too bad now that we know what the hell we're doing. And children's teeth. Yeah, and not adults. Not adult teeth. That would be even more gruesome, and actually. Like, <laughs> terms like fairy makes you feel good. You're like, oh, it's, oh, a, fairy, it's a fairy, but you know, you know like... Imagine the tooth demon <laughs> trades you some... <laughs> Steals your teeth in the night. Steals your teeth and gives you some, some, some currency in exchange for it so that he can do whatever he wants. There we go. Yeah, this is easy. The tooth fairy. <laughs> with Prances her, around. With her wand. Congrats you. Gives you, you know, a little bit of money. The spending money. I remember um, buy more candy. <laughs> when I when I was a kid, I saw, I got like toonies. My sister only got loonies, and yeah. she was so pissed. <laughs> she was like, "I got ripped off." Well, Tooth Fairy liked your teeth. Better. That's right. And then my sister Way did a science quality. experiment. She like hid it under her pillow and didn't uh, tell her parents. Uh, very smart. And then like I think confronted them about it a week later. Very smart. Yep. <laughs> she was she was she knew. Oh, was going on. but did she? Okay, what did she do? Because I, I read about a kid who did this as well. Did she tr put it under a pillow for a while and then tell her parents it did fall out and that, then did it disappear the, that night? That's exactly what she Perfect. did. And then she Perfect confronted them experiment. a week later. She's a, she's a computer programmer, so she's uh, like... Thanks analytically. <laughs> she's, figured, yeah. she's trying to figure stuff out. And then she told me, she, she spoiled everything for me. But she'd be like, but don't You're tell, like, but don't tell mom. Uh, but let me tell you this. And I was like, that's what it's like to have an older sister. Is yeah, but you, if you spoiled it for yourself, if the money stopped flowing. That's right. Right? Because if you never told your parents that you knew, the money's still be coming. That's right. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Uh, any chocolate? Uh, there's some chocolate upstairs. Didn't bring it down. So, yeah, there's just nerds. There's, what are those? Fizz? Mm -hmm. Fizz? I like those. I like nerds, too. The Laffy Taffy is okay. It's, <laughs> it's not pretty great. great. Uh, there's some banana Laffy Taffy. I don't know if there's any in the box there. Banana and candy don't go together. No. Well, it's the fake, fake banana. Yeah, it's like awful. It's, like, all the flavors of candy aren't really the right flavors of real things they're more like mm. the candy equivalent flavor. anything grape flavor just get out <laughs> yeah it's not grape it does not taste like grape okay this is too easy and i'm done okay and we're moving on we're moving on to the next okay i'm holding it down so he shouldn't have told us that because now the game's too easy <laughs> yeah it's like okay which one are we doing next it is let me log in Skeleton Plus. Mm. Not Skeleton. Skeleton Plus. And this is... This yep. one here? Bowie's the Bin. Yep. Cool. By Eric Ball. 2003. Story. 
You're in a maze of twisty passages all alike, which is taken from Zork, text adventure. Cool. It's uh, a bit dark right at the moment. Oh. That's not good. It's Maybe pardon. it's completely incompatible. Or the scan lines are not the same as what we played before, and there's going to be a little bit of adjustment on the Frame Meister, so we'll give it a second. Um, I'm going to load it up here Let's and see, see if see the scan that. lines are bad. News. You did put on the bin, right? I did push bin. Okay. Because there was zip and there was bin, and yeah. I binned it. You binned it. We can always check. I mean, I, it's it wouldn't be the the, oh. the first time I've made no, it. No, it's human error. Two sixty two. Okay. It's the right number of lines. So let's load it up again. You never it's know. It's kind of weird. It's part of the the yeah, Halloween. It's definitely not working. Experience. Yeah, spooky. Spooky. It's not working. Know. Okay, let's try this again. This one here. Yep. And then. Bin. Uh no. Oh no! Skeleton minus. Skeleton minus. <laughs> it's not gonna work. That's really weird. Oh no! Because it's reporting 262 lines there, um, which is normal number of lines. This wouldn't happen on the Apple II. No. Just There's you know. no crashing, no viruses, is, no bugs. There's no mistake. That's right. <laughs> Try the zip. Try the. Uh, I don't. It was okay. a dark and scary night. I know, I'm loading. We tried to play. It could be corrupt. Hold it down. Hold and we'll try down. the zip, but it doesn't. It doesn't load zips. Bam. Skeleton plus plans. I'm pretty sure it zips. doesn't load zips. Be funny if it but, works. No. Zip is just loading it like a bin, but it's not working. Yeah, some corruption. Yep, so that's not going. Something's oh. rotten in the state of Denmark. That's right. Okay. We're going to move on to the next game. That's good. We have a whole bunch of them. That's right. And it is man. Atari just did the like full on Halloween cat like uh, posture that whole. Oh, did did it get captured on camera? Oh, it might have might a little have. bit in the corner. Okay, now Lewis Hill made a special version of Tire Tracks Ooh. just for tonight. Just the ROM for is us. haunted. It is. It is haunted. That's the spookiest thing that's happened. Okay, hold it down. Oh, I'm so hot in this. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> What's happening? Yeah. Oh, it'll come up. That's hard. <clears throat> Can't get it. There you go. Well, which one were we doing again? Tire uh, Tracks? This is Tire Tracks. Damn. And this is just for this show. Ooh. Just for Zero Page. Oh, special. a Zero Page Homebrew exclusive? Exclusive, exclusive. I don't know if he'll be even releasing this one to the public. But he should. <clears throat> so, take a look. He's got a little skeleton face. Oh, that's amazing. He's got a little bat. He's kind ghost of Ghost in bony. the shell, I suppose. Then. Ghost in, yeah, ghost in the machine. Um, Burp. So you selected the non-Halloween level. Did I? So it will just die. Just up to the top. Up to the top. Death Beep. for you. That's scary. Into the water. Oh, God. <clears throat> so how do I do it? Is it game number... Uh, four or eight. Whoa! That's very loud. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. So, yeah, he's made a little little witch on a broom. Wow! Awesome animation. This is cool. Oh, I'm not very good at this. So he says, "Hey James, thanks a lot. I think it's superb how you guys in the show support the homebrew community and showcase projects being worked on." Well, you're very welcome. Yeah, thanks for doing a thing for like exclusively this. Yeah. Like I got a real like Harry Potter vibe. This broomstick Definitely. flying. Except for the green face. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot has changed with tire tracks since you first featured it on the show a few weeks ago. The attached version is a bit different, even to the version shown at PRGE. This version is the Whoa. Halloween special for Zero Page. Yes! You got the, the poop award. <laughs> yeah, you know, I smashed into pretty much every one of them, but at least I tried. Arena Foot says there's a spirit in the room. I think his name is Atari. Are you the spirit in the room? He's got a lot of spirit. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, I hope you guys have as much fun playing it as I've had building it. It's a cool game, man. It's a beautiful game. I think it's one of oh, my favorite God. looking games it of all so time. It is so nice. Like the, the moon reflection on the water and the water's rippling you got third this time Ugh, better better than poop oh, oh god no Dive death 
and the cloud going by. Four. Cloud going by. And the moon. Oh. Okay, a few comments about the version below. Version 201i, zero page Halloween edition. Halloween special, if you play the spooky map, number four or eight, you get a little surprise. Remember, you can't fly over water, and you, well, you get disoriented and crash. Probably too much Halloween hooch. Lots of code optimizations. This build should be rock solid. No overcycling or jitter. I did see a bit of jitter. Oh, God. But, um, okay. It's very solid. <clears throat> Just one there. When it Oh, there too. So when you begin the race, it did a little... Little bump, and then on the first pass of something, it bumped again. But it looks pretty oh, solid after that. I don't see any bumps. Uh, actually, uh, I've noticed this since the beginning as well. On the cones, the orange cones, there's little trailing dots. And that happens on uh, the light sixer and also. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Yeah, the little cones, there's little dot traces as well. Oh, Arena Foot's keeping track. Thanks, Arena. How did I pause? I want to be, I want to like... Get first? To get first, you have to be perfect. I Absolutely just, perfect, I not hit like anything. I do better than I've been doing. It's <laughs> just rough. Well, third's not bad. This, this is a tough course. This is the hardest course. But it's a Halloween. The other ones aren't Halloween. <clears throat> Uh, four competition game modes with fixed courses, like you tested before. Oh, you got poop. That's not your worst one. Uh, uh, four random, uh, fun random game modes where you get a different course each time. This needs a bit of uh, tuning due to the random numbers sometimes not being very random. Difficulty switches for random game modes. Left switch to A, less reaction time. Right switch to A, harder obstacle sense. Okay, we're both on B now, but we're not on random. Uh, as this is, this view is kind of pseudo 3D, the bike now only collides when the bike hits the object, not the rider. So you have a bit of leeway with your head. Your head can pass through, like that. There you go. So you just have to watch out for the bike or your broom, as it may be. Uh, Lilla Pogem Campaign. Oh, I was doing so well, Jeff. Uh, help me with that, but I have no idea how to pronounce his name, so I call him Lil. Yeah, we had trouble last game, too. Oh. Ugh, 25 is like the best I seem to be able to do. There is a fully functional Easter egg in the game. It's nothing spectacular, very Yars Revenge, what it shows. I have no idea how to get the Easter egg. Dive into the water and do something, maybe? I don't know. This, late, uh, this latest version has some uh, movement tweaks. Speed up, you move out a little. Slow down, you move back. Move up, you lean forward. Oh, you lean down. So you can actually make it go faster by going forward? That's interesting. Uh, increase the number of obstacle positions. This version you showed originally has four lanes for obstacles. This one has eight positions. Means more variation with half lane positions. Uh, control is fire button to accelerate like the other recent build. This won't change for future versions. It just works better, which I agree. Because you used to have to hold forward to move faster. Um, but this one's much easier than that. Got the poop award. The trophy awards for games 5 through 8 are not quite ready yet, so you might get a good time and get a bronze. That's on the tweak list. So, to get... Um, to get silver in this, better than what you did, because you got a third, you have to get 22, 21 to 22 seconds. So, the best you've gotten is 25, so you have to go, oh, up, go see, up quite like, a bit. Oh, poop award for you. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? I spent some time recently, about a week, trying to get a head-to-head two-player version working as an option. I was unsuccessful mostly due to how I've written and structured the game. I have to basically start from scratch to add multiplayer, so he's thinking about it. I've only been coding since September, so it's been a big learning curve. This is amazing for... It's beautiful. This guy's only been coding for like a month. And he's made this game crazy. 
I think Tire Tracks is more fun played competitively, even without two-player mode. My eldest daughter was back from university for a few days recently and she was helping me out doing some testing on Tire Tracks on my Retron 77, until I get a Harmony. When my other 15-year-old daughter decided she wanted to play too, they got unbelievably competitive and started writing down their times. After 90 minutes, I was like, girls, I'd like to do some coding, please. Oh, For me, it was kind of... Oh, I'm not gonna get it. Now I'm gonna Poop for you. <laughs> okay. So if he does a sequel, he'll be definitely changing the design from the ground up. Having split screen, head-to-head -head play, at least that's my plan. Very cool. So he's planning on making a two-player game. So playing two. One person on top, one on the bottom. Is he doing some memorization? Looks like it. Well, I'm trying to like, but it's like still a hard threshold to get. Because there's a lot of things to get through. Better! Better! Oh, okay, there we go. At Give least... a little rest. At least I managed to do something. Hey, Atari. It's going to be difficult with the cat here. There we go. Atari's so blissful. Oh, I did. didn't start it quick enough. arena for writing down all the scores man that's cool Very handy. Was it, this game was originally like a tour de france inspired correct that guy, guy was from like um somewhere in europe i believe i think so now it's turned into a witch game <laughs> which is very cool it's amazing uh, it's, he's, he's only been working what since september hey first go third well i fell into the ah uh, fell into the water a bunch See the little glitch there. Or jump, jump screen. Uh, up, down, up. Yes. Ha <laughs> Crushed. Almost got a, a one. Again, I need to get under. I need to get a twenty. Looks like I need. Oh, muddy funsters here. It looks like I need to work on those overcycle blips some more. It's only a couple, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna try once more to get perfect. Nope. It's hard, man. It's very hard. But that's definitely the one of the better scores. Hands down. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it this time. Too many things. Damn it. Still got a second. One more. Ah! Into the water. Anything short of perfection. Pretty much. <laughs> it's brutal. Because I did perfect the first three levels. Nope. Hit it. Second place, though, man. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. See, this mode is brutal. It is. It's hard. I had to work my butt off for, like, oh. third place, man. It's a cool game, though. It's a very cool game. I'm gonna retire. Okay, so the next one is a random race Ooh, okay. where it's not 
all the same each time. I'd flip the cloud colors because the moon is above the cloud. Oh, maybe add a day, evening, night. Oh, the, well, there's other there's other modes. We're just playing the uh, the scary the scary mode. There's there's spring, summer, fall, and this is like the winter one. And there is daytime ones. Um, so how are you supposed to? There is other other uh, other. Uh, good job. Yeah, show them race one. Is one? Yeah. See, there's a nice spring, springtime with the flamingo and the trees and a nice sunset and the clouds. Yeah, but this isn't like Halloween vibes at all. No, that's right. This and now show the second. Just go to the one. Oh, I, should, I wanted to. Just... Oh, you almost made it. Okay. Now one, two, two, three, two, 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 two. Two. Yeah, we're just gonna show the other people. So this is kind of sun is setting. Maybe it's a summer. And uh, you had a, a, a critique of this one, where there's no sun, yet there is reflection of the That's sun right. on the water. I remember that was my critique. <laughs> it feels very like pretentious to say now that I hear it. <laughs> it said back to me though. And then go for uh, race three. This is fun. This is kind of like a Ooh. fall, where the leaves are off the trees, but it's not. We're going on a journey. Oh no, this is winter. Snowman. It's definitely winter. Who cycles in winter? Oh, sadists. <laughs> people who are. People who want pain and coldness. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, Muddy Funster says I'm working on that just for Erlen. So he's going to put in the sun. Thanks, man. I appreciate that a lot, actually. It's a little thing. I'm consistently third place. <laughs> in a lot it's of... good to be consistent. Oh, no. We'll go, go to uh, race eight, where it's random. So we're going to play with the difficulty switches. Okay. Did you finish race eight? Did you get a time? I'm I did. Sure. It was like... This is like easy-ish. Because you get a full screen oh. width to avoid. So you get lots of time. And it's the easier um, obstacles. Sometimes. And sometimes there's three. I'm still doing pretty terribly. <laughs> How about that? Mm. It's a third. Okay, don't do it yet. Okay. Left switch to A, less less time to avoid things. Okay. Two. So this should be similar. Yeah, so this is much less time. You get about three quarters of the screen to react. It's not enough time to like move out of the way. Oh, got it. Oh, there's a little bit of jumps here. Oh, see, like, you think you're doing well, and you get caught behind one, and you're just done. Oh, the poll question. Sorry, I should have put that up again, because some people came in a little bit after the, the beginning. It was, um, how many trick-or-treaters do you get to your door? Second, somehow. That's weird. Okay, let's play it with... Oh. Um, the other option. Should I try it again? Um... Yes. So this is the harder obstacle oh, set. Oh, it feels smaller. Like the window. Am I wrong? You're wrong, probably. Maybe, but I doubt it. I doubt it's smaller. Um. So, answer one was oh. zero kids. Answer two was one to five kids. Answer three was six to ten kids. Answer four was eleven to twenty-five kids. Answer five. You did it. But like, that makes no level, that makes no sense. I like cra I crashed like three times. He said they're all screwed up. Oh. <laughs> but you still got first. I got first. Mm -hmm. Random dice roll. That's all it takes. Yeah, Muddy Funster. That might be a glitch. <laughs> yeah. Arena Foot says we had under a hundred this year. It was an off year for some reason. Well, Arena, it's probably due to the impending storm. Yeah, I think when there's coming. like a storm that's gonna rip apart the yard, <laughs> people's focus is on other things. Yeah, hiding in the uh, bomb shelter in the backyard, probably. Tanya, what's your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie? Yeah. I'm off, I'm off camera here, no one else yeah. in here. Off oh, camera and off sound. Yeah. You gave away her secret oh. of Second. invisibility. She's her invisible girl camp. this year for Halloween. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite horror film? I've never been a big horror person. I do really like The Thing, though. That's one of my favorite. Yeah, one of my favorite that's films. probably my 
high vote top three is the thing by John Carpenter. Yeah. I can't uh, think of uh, Silence of the Lambs. One. Oh, I do really like Silence. Of the Lambs yeah, that's up there. If it, I mean, I never really considered it horror, although Alien? it definitely has those elements. Alien. That's a horror. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's, it's like action horror almost. Uh, not aliens, alien. Alien, the first one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's more like hiding from things that are killing you. Yeah. <laughs> aliens is like, no, we're fighting back this time. Aliens got newt. Yes. Right. <laughs> got children to protect. It's the motherhood theme. Yes, that's right. <laughs> things bursting from your chest. Dreams of things bursting that's from right. your chest. And it's, Alien 3 is the most gut-wrenching opening ever where it's like, she gave, wakes up from her pod and it's like, Newt, she's just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, bear, I only it's seen rough, it once man. when it came they out. They spend the whole movie tr like protecting this child and then in like it's like a footnote. And she's dead. Yeah, it's like, oh, she died. She didn't make it through the, the thing. Now she's, now she's on, like, a prison he didn't planet. Write it. No, he didn't write it. He just directed it. It's a pretty significant role, though. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't think you can do that in a sequel. I mean, like, you can do whatever you want, but it's just like... It's not a great thing to do, is kill the little kid that you were rooting for in the last <laughs> the whole, movie. Yeah, the whole okay. reason why you were, like, the whole emotional core. It's like, thing. oh, by the way, we retconned the last film and killed yeah. the kid. So, Yeah. Do you want six? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. I'll do this one. The, I'm not good with the racing. Me, me neither. I'm learning <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, See, that was terrible. A, it's a, well, it's a rough one because if you get caught behind these things, you're done. Yeah, it just slows you right down. So this is Halloween theme? Well, yeah. Well, like, he's a no, witch. No, I, I, no, no, pumpkins I mean, uh, and a witch. It's cool. It's cool that it has a Halloween. Oh, it sounded like a question mark. Yeah, the way you the said it was like <laughs> zombies. And Sorry, I didn't mean to question it. I was just, I meant <laughs> like, oh, it's interesting that it, it's a, it's a, like a speed racer game. And it's, it's got Halloween. It is unusual that you're not like. Oh. Original Night of the Living Dead and the Blob were made near where oh. I am in Pennsylvania. Oh, mm. that's very cool. I've seen lots of those things on uh, YouTube where people revisit where movies are made and they go to the exact sites and stuff. That's kind of cool. I like the Blair Witch Project a lot. So did I. I think it was, it was a cool very movie. effective. Uh, yeah, I, it scared me for sure. I saw yeah. it in the theater like when it came out. Obviously, it doesn't work anymore because, like, if somebody hasn't seen it and have seen all modern films, they'd be like, "What is this? Yeah. This is weak." Oh, it's worse. I, the thing about horror movies is, is I had a girlfriend and that was her favorite genre. That's all she would watch. <laughs> That's so it. I would always try to like get us to watch a different movie, and she'd be like, mm, "Can we watch like a horror movie?" So and she'd open up her Netflix queue and she'd see everything because <laughs> oh she God. spent her whole life watching horror movies. There was nothing that she hadn't seen. Wow. Wow. And like we sh and we would watch terrible horror films because she had <laughs> oh, already no. we had already seen watched them. all the good ones. Yeah. So she was down to this stuff and like. She, she wouldn't even um she wouldn't even like uh continue like wouldn't even like uh, oh, no. uh let us stop watching terrible ones She'd be like no we have to finish them i'd be like well, that's all that's left yeah the that's terrible the unknown ones. directors unknown actors yeah but just, it's just on netflix and it's, it's a horror, horror movie that so was, you might as well give it a try that was it i'd be like let's <laughs> no. i'm like let's open up to this yeah. <laughs> no no so good. let's see what the poll has Oh, um, a lot of zero. So, yeah. Third, it's a tie between um, zero kids <laughs> and one to five kids at thirty-seven and a half percent each. Nobody has six to ten kids, and then tie for eleven to twenty-five and twenty-five plus. So it's wow. either very little or very lot yeah. of kids. Mm -hmm. um, so that is it for all the games. Oh my God. We just uh, hammered through, through those, those. I, I, and maybe yeah. a bit too fast. I, yeah. <laughs> well, we did miss one of them because it didn't load that's, up. We oh, couldn't play Skeleton Plus, unfortunately. Oh, um, so that kind of sucks. Um, oh, you! Oh, I just I just noted all the graphics you have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, good job. Little, what do we got here? A little skeleton yeah, and a ghost and a, a What's really good one, goblin Daniel? and a of those and a guys. Scary yeah. ghost oh, I like the purple dude. spider. Purple spiders, your favorite. Great yeah. pumpkin and a nice purple spider. And I, I love yeah. the uh, kind of the scream the mask, scream mask, I guess. Yeah. It's just got this one's great my graphics. favorite. The Michael Myers mm -hmm. one. I like the Michael Myers <laughs> nope. one. No, the, oh, the goblin. The yeah. goblin's my favorite. Yeah. 
has There's pants my mask. On. Gobble. Yeah, well, like he can't be naked. You know, that well, wouldn't be good. Uh, Rena set foot says, put me in for f uh, answer five. So he gets a lot of kids. Yeah. So Ooh. he said it's the first night he got under 100. So I'm guessing it's still in the high, you know, wow, that's a lot 70s, of kids. 80s. Yeah. They're a Freddy. Oh, we missed one. We missed a game. What did we hell? miss one? Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go back. So let's switch let's back. Look. Why did I. Hmm. It, it seems short. I'm like, yeah. no, there has to be more. <laughs> this was like there's just so many on the list. Mm. There, Freddy's Fear Factory. <sighs> Is that right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Whoa. I is supposed to once again high school. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I was holding it. It didn't. Wait till it comes on the screen. There you go. Okay. So Man. this is a hack of Cakewalk. Uh, did we do and, the Blair Witch? Uh, no, we missed that one too. <laughs> okay. No, never mind. We still got some more to go. Uh, yeah, it's not you. over. <laughs> and Folks. Monsters Revenge, did we do that? Yeah, we did. That's okay. the thing in the center. Oh, yeah, that's it. So we're going to do Freddy's Fear Factory. It's okay. a hack by Scott Dayton, who also sent me this today. Uh, he's from Neo Games. He said, This is an extensive uh, hack of Cakewalk. Uh, just look up Cakewalk Instructions to play. So, Freddy's Fear Factory. Not a bad picture of Freddy. Oh, he's got numbered. Neo Games number 17. Wow. So, I guess this is his 17th hack or Neo 17th Game. release. Uh, description. Nightmares are given the task of carrying bad dreams to the people of Earth. And they are not happy with Freddy moving in on their territory. They trap Freddy in his own nightmare. A job. Actually, Freddy was a uh, janitor. So, he had a job. Fine. Until uh, the parents uh, burned them alive. No, screen, no <laughs> screenshot? Oh, yeah. Sorry, dudes and dudettes and others. There it is. I, I forgot because we switched back. So, Freddy's Fear Factory. Freddy, mu Freddy must man the packing area of the Nightmare Factory. Things like bloody skulls and scorpions move along the conveyor belts. Pack the Nightmare ingredients without <laughs> letting anything fall to the floor and break. Beware. Just to make things a bit more nightmarish, occasionally a Jason mask will appear. Do not touch it. Let it go. A single touch will have Freddy crashing to the floor. I will, I will let it go. Go for it. Okay. And then if someone said, uh, what's the stick you're using? Oh, this is a Genesis Arcade Power Stick. The best joystick for your Atari 2600. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait. It's, I think I have to do it manually here. Both on A. Let's do it. Um, I find it's really nice that oh, you, know, you pause with the button. Oh yeah. You pause the conveyor belt, and you have to collect all the things. Is this on hard? Yeah, that does look quite challenging. There you go. Okay, so I do a, <laughs> that I was pause everything like No, that. only the ones that you don't have time. There you go. No, no you have to collect them. <laughs> Not pause them. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you have to collect them except for um, Jason's mask. So if it's two things are coming at the same time, you probably want to pause one. Oh, I see. I see. Right? I'm understanding. That's oh, not, this is brutal. Oh, that's not the masterpiece Freddy sprite I was referring to. But you did spur me on to remind me that there was a Freddy game. Oh, God, game. I already messed it up. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> he thinks you needed some help. I definitely need some help. What about there you go. No, oh, you could have got that one. And now you pause the other one. Oh, which made the other one go? Oh, God. You'll get the So you just let it roll into you? Yeah, you catch okay. them. But what about this guy? Is he just like... He's he's the, the janitor. He's the mask? Yeah, he's he's the janitor cleaning up. Just ignore him. Got some fireworks happening. No, oh, pumpkin! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap my brain around this sooner. Marina Foot says, Pooh, they use a Genesis arcade stick. <laughs> what is your favorite? That's what I should ask next time. We're going to do a poll next time. Favorite joystick. Which one? Uh, the right hand one. The reset. And pass me some nerds, please. Purple or yeah, They're all fine. Oh, God. So then I let this oh, thing go. No. They're both coming at the same time. You're going to lose one. You have to pause. No, but one. that's the thing. <laughs> that's the mask that I don't want. To... Was it? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Jason's mask? Yeah, Jason oh, has I a so goalie mask. It's the hockey mask. Yeah. So. So, I haven't seen one yet. That's just a skeleton. A skull. There you go. Now you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. It still looks challenging. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Tari, this is this is hard to wrap your brain around for some reason. Whoa. Yeah, I suppose I only had so much room on the screen for um, for different graphics, so I I picked I picked these ones. But I should have picked a Freddy one because we're playing. Oh, there's Whoa, the final there's boom. Some, there's some final. Whoa, it's cats, okay. cats it's are alarmed. Okay, dude, I would I would be worried too. Our cats are pretty good with fireworks, actually, because we don't live out in the you know the, the farm area, so there's lots of noise all the time. Plus, they they did they both grew up with the construction. Yeah, they did. The construction to our. Uh, Townhouse. Yeah. They so do. what? Do I, so, what do I do with this situation now? Uh, you press the button. Oh, I don't know. Go get them. Your free life. There you go. Oh, that's good news. That's mm -hmm. great news. Oh, now they're moving at different rates. Whoa. Okay. Or... And there's more than one. It's like Tapper. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is God. gonna be uh, challenging. Probably where I'm gonna die too. Wow. There's like two. Atari, this stuff just got like way harder. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it calmed down again. Uh -huh. A little bit. Hold on, hold on. I know it. I'm gonna know my sequence. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. Bam. There. there you go. Now you get me. Bam. It. I think you can unfreeze them too. They do unfreeze oh. after a while too. It doesn't look like you can you you can freeze them indefinitely. No. I just wanted to go pay no your pause cat. for cats. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> My heart is pink warm. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think you can unfreeze them too if you want to get it done. What? Nope, guess not. I guess you'd have to freeze another one to let that one go. He's just putting his head in. Can you speed it up? Can you press to the right? No. No, it's... Bye, Wade Rain. Thanks for hanging out. It's all good, Wade Rain. Have fun, man. Collect it. There you go. Bam. Okay, good. Oh, he's got little uh, dancing I goblin I have no dudes. idea how I'm going to do this, dude. <laughs> oh, he's random-y. Oh! Rip. Katari does want control. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. Mm -hmm. There's you, the mask. Yeah, Just ignore that completely. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> it was in your way. Yeah. What do you do in a situation like that? Nothing really. You either die one way or die the other. Oh no, oh, you died okay. twice. Because oh, you were right on it. Oh, oh no. I went to go pet Sorry. It's <laughs> no. cute. Thank you are done. Ooh. Bam. What is this position? Okay, if we know where. Oh, can you reset it, Tanya? Yep. Yeah. Like this position? No, it's hard. Bye bye. Ah, ah. So fast. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. They all, came, no. all three came he's out all, once. He's all criticizing over in the corner. No. <laughs> I made a mistake. I apologize. <laughs> so, so <good. laughs> You're gonna crush it. I know it. Beep. There's some serious tactics. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, there is. I just imagine there's gotta be someone online who just would crush a game like this. You know? There's oh, people yeah. who do like Rubik's cubes. Like, there's gotta be somebody seconds. who's like master at cakewalk. Oh, yeah. Halloween themed cakewalk. Oh yeah. Which is nice because this is actually a really good game. Very sought after. It's not cheap to buy. Really? Yeah. I do not have a copy of Cakewalk. It's like, is it an Atari game? Yeah, yeah. Atari 2600 game. Yay! Hey. Okay, let's just. Thanks, Arena Foot. Something tells me that. Ah! Something... ah. 6300. Pretty good. Same. <laughs> it's a nice touch. 
Oh, Whoa. thanks. Oh. Thanks a lot. That's <laughs> half of the challenge. Oh my god, here. yes. It's cat challenge. <laughs> Sorry. James is busy. A little bit busy at James the moment. James is on his cakewalk, buddy. That's right. Oh. He's like, nope, nope, I do no. what I want. He's like, Don't tell me what to do. I will give you love when <laughs> yeah, I decide. Yeah. That's I don't care so... if you want my love, you're getting it anyway. <laughs> when you don't want it. <laughs> I think the original ones are cakes. That the makes graphics, sense. Different colored cake. Whoa! <sighs> Whoa. That, that was okay. very, very close. Now, I don't want that. So maybe I'll just pause it so I can control it a bit better. Yay! Yay! Oh, there's the dancing dude. He's gonna cause me grief. Because I don't know when he's... You just stay there for a second. Oh, he's moving even though... Oh my god, he Rough. can move a little bit. He just kicks him out. <laughs> he's like, bye! There will be no dancing on these conveyor belts. It's not for dancing. It's for skulls. Oh, God. Oh. oh wow. Now I'm going to die what? again. This is a skull. Oh, no, I'm on it. Okay. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, God. Definitely level three is the challenge. Yeah, life. it ramps up huge. Like manipulate it. So let's just stop that while it, while it's being paused. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it gives you like a. Do you not completely destroyed? Whoa. Oops. Oof. Ah, there's uh, too many. Look, there's oh, six of them all in a row. <laughs> ah, I gotta get up here and then go straight go down. down. Oh, oh no, seventy eight hundred. All right. Here you go. Good luck. <laughs> It starts off like, mm, it's fine, yeah, it's, all, it's manageable, and it just I, goes I, boom. Except for the first part, it's crazy. Like, you can barely make it. I think you have to stagger the pausing. Like, pause, wait a bit, pause, and then get the third one. I like this, like, it feels like we're playing music or something. Mm -hmm. It does. There's all music to go along with it. 7,800, dude. That's good work. It's a nice oh, number. <laughs> I was going to put my feet down. Oh, but... boy. Oh. I'd be a freaked out cat. <laughs> I still feel like I have a lot of authority with this turtleneck. <laughs> dictate things. I feel like the yeah, you know. Nice little tiny graphic of the dude. How do I get him? I just pass by him. I think the iPod was pretty <laughs> revolutionary. It revolutionized music. I think so. How we consume music. And the iPhone. <laughs> how we talk. How we talk. And communicated. He really talked up things, but they did. Bring, he brought things to the masses, really. Hell yeah. Um, before the iPhone, you know, there was no no big smartphone. And, um, and the touchscreen idea, like, I mean, of course there had been touchscreens before. I had a Palm but, Pilot eons before. But I mean, like, the way that it was, like, it seemed to yes. actually work. The interactivity of it and like, the layout and same with, same with the graphics on a, a Mac. Yeah. It was like really well laid out. And the idea too that like of of our of this sort of new generation who like Windows almost isn't even necessarily a thing. <laughs> no. No. Like the idea of, of Windows is not, you know. Yeah. We're we're gonna like be these old school people. What is it start <laughs> button? What's the there was an arrow. Why is there an arrow on the screen? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, totally foreign concepts. You just pass by him. There you go. Oh, and the top green guy, the little rollies are green. I wonder if that just probably helps you out. 
No problem, uh, Muddy Funster. Thanks for hanging out and on yeah. the on the Halloween stream. Thanks for doing one specifically for the show. Yes, dude. that was amazing. The entire tracks is a beautiful looking game. It's so yes. much fun, yes. and I I found and you're right about the uh, the competitive edge. It's that's that's the key. Yeah, can't wait for the sequel. Oh, we go head to head. That'll be fun. It was really cool seeing it at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo as well. I think you're gonna kick my ass. Uh, you're pretty close. A couple more. We'll see. Don't get that. Uh, oh no! Uh, <laughs> Top 300 one, more man. points, and you've tied. There you go. Yep. Get up! Oh. 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 Tied. This is my score. 7,800. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. Laffy Taffy. Oh, no, I don't want to... Oh. Okay, last game. Oh, one more? Yep. It is... <gasps> the Blair Witch. What is it? Oh, the Blair mm. Witch. Yes, that's right. I'm stoked, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hold down the middle button, please. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Games? Uh, down to the today's date. Blair Witch. Witch. There you go. It. The bin. Yeah. Um, by Tim Snyder in 2000. Uh, mm. After watching the Blair Witch Project at a drive-in theater and having the bejeebers scared out of him, <laughs> Tim Sorry. Snyder decided to make it and make a fitting video game. He ultimately decided to take Atari's haunted house and modify it where you tried to escape from Rustin Parr's house oh. from the movie's oh. final scene with your videotaped evidence of the existence of the witch. Right. Now, I have never played Atari's Haunted House, so we're going to have to look up the instructions, but give it a go. Can you do it? Can you move? No. Nope. My eyes move. Oh! So I'm going to look up Haunted House instructions. Is that my light? Hey, Retro Happy. Have a really good night. Thanks for hanging out with hey, us. Hey, Retro oh. Happy. Yeah, thanks for hanging out on a Halloween, our Halloween special. Uh, haunted house. Oh, no, I need instructions for this. I have a feeling something's going to kill me really quickly. <laughs> this is the, uh, oh, earliest example of a survival horror game. Wonderful. <laughs> Made in 1982, mm. the original one. I died. The house has three floors and a basement. The player's character may pick up only one of three items at a time. Must avoid a bat, tarantula, and ghost. I'm sure they're different in this. Uh, if the player is hit by the monsters nine times, the game ends. If the player escapes the house with the urn, which is going to be something different, the player wins. The items and house layout in uh, higher difficulties can only be seen when the player uses the fire button uh, on the joystick to light a match, illuminating a small radius around his character. This can be done an infinite number of times, although the match only lasts for a limited amount of time before being snuffed out. If a monster enters the same room as a player, a howling wind from the monster will blow out any lit match. Oh. So, oh, avoid that. So there's th three levels to the house. Mm -hmm. So I guess you have to uh, find the stairs and go up and down the levels. So that's not stairs. They're usually there. Try and go over the other one. There's some stairs. Oh, so you're on level two of the house. It changed from one to two. Ah! There you go. Now you're on level one again. Yeah, because there was something going on. Cool, <laughs> man. That's oh! oh, it's coming again. You dodge it. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so you have to find the items. Now you're on level two. Of the house. There's like a six and a nine there. Haunted house instructions manual. Green? Is that... Oh, Ooh. there's something. Go get it. No, it was... There you go. It wasn't moving. There you go. Oh. That's the little Blair Witch yeah, this doll is thing. Like, it totally is. Ah. Oh, there's the I'm so happy that Tanya is playing the survival. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified, and it's suck. all, you know, in glorious 8-bit graphic. <laughs> it's so good. 
went down. Uh, to pick up an object, use the joystick to touch the object, and it's automatically picked up. To drop an object, use the joystick to touch another object. Ooh. Okay. I just dropped it. What's that? Another object. Oh. So you can only have one at a time. But what did they do? Uh, you have to have a videotaped evidence of the witch. That's all it says. Um, now what is the goal in the original game? Let's see. Game one includes lighted walls to help you see the rooms. There's no doors. No key is required. Hmm. Scoring. Maybe somebody else can help us here. How do we... Oh, There's I... the videotape. Oh. Okay, so... I've got a camera. Yeah, that's good. So I guess that's the thing you want. You want to escape? Get out of here, Tanya. Well, if I... No, I'll keep that video. Yeah. Oh. I can't. Oh. Oh. Um. <clears throat> okay, in the original game, there's an urn. The urn is blo broken into three pieces. A match must be lit to see all the objects, including the urn piece. To pick up a piece of the urn, you, the eyes, must touch the piece. When you touch it, the pe piece appears at the bottom right corner of the screen the urn pieces automatically attach as you find and pick up each other piece oh okay <laughs> so you have to probably find like the video camera a videotape um no, I didn't. there you go so scour this floor for other things probably like batteries things like that and level yeah. three again Four again. How many levels are there? Um, four floors. Okay. Each floor has six rooms. Atari. So you probably want to look throughout a whole floor bit before changing and well, changing yeah, again and changing again. So we'd start with like floor one. Follow, right? So you're in level three. Now you're in level two. Ah. Level three. You don't have to keep saying. <laughs> I feel like there's something ominous about the red level, you know? Yeah. Cleared out level two, almost. Oh, ah, there oh. you go. That was, a, was that earth? Looked like, I don't know, it was quick. Look, it looked cool. like a video oh, no, tape or batteries. Tape. Oh. Good dodging survival. <laughs> looks oh, like it's red and green. Together. Oh, well, that's good. Don't have to avoid two. Have you heard of a game called Amnesia, James? I have. It's so good. I'm not the biggest fan of horror survival games. <laughs> That's probably my least favorite. That's oh. actually one of my favorite genres. Ah! Kitten. That's not for cats. What's going on? It's like laying completely across the mixing board. The mixing board. That's like the last place. It's probably super warm. We still. Yep, voices. Yep. Okay, good. He didn't, he didn't press any buttons that were bad. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, there's also a game called The Forest. I love The Forest. That's a good survival game. Oh, oh, oh. dropped it. There you go. Yeah, I'm guessing it all takes place mostly in a forest. That's right. Ah. It's so good. Find the exit door. So this is level one. I'm guessing this would be the one with the exit door. That's not it. Go back. Is it back to level, is it one? level one? Ah, you got me. Anything else want to play? Want to search? Yep. Do some searching. Do some. I like the eyeballs. Oh, is there any anything left in that? Yep. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Yay, win. Oh, you found the door. <laughs> Good job. Cool. That was it? Yep, that's oh. it. Anybody need to uh, play this one? No, it's okay. No, you're no, good? it's pretty okay. straightforward. We did win, so that's that's an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. um, so there we go. That is the last game of our Halloween Spooktacular. Oh. <laughs> so what, what game? There was, we played so many games. Oh, Which my God. Was your, so many games. Ooh, Which ones see. was your favorite? Um, let's see. Happy Halloween. What was that one about? That's that, so generic. Was that the one with the like thing that kind of like bounced around? The puzzle game was fun. It started with. 
Should we try the puzzle? Oh, that's what it was. That yeah, was the puzzle like game. Beep, beep. It was good, um, but it's exactly the same as A-Star. Remember, you had to go boom, boom, mm -hmm. and then find a path to mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah, it was like that, except with Halloween candy corn. Also, oh, I, I, like I feel like you put it very well. It's like there are games that work better on the show than others. <laughs> yes. Right? Like watching me do like a Sudoku is not, <laughs> not really what anybody's here for. No. Um, so it's like, which <laughs> one, five, nine? Seven. Let's see. Yeah. You know, it's, so I think like puzzle Action. games are cool, but like, yeah, yeah. you got it. There's got to be a level of spark. So I would. That's this, a, would, this is a better one. This totally. Is, mm -hmm. That game I could mess around in for a long yeah. time, though, that first one. Like, but it, oh, not, that one, yeah? Yeah, but not, on the, but not on the show. It just yeah. seems like it's like, Then there was Candy Catcher, which is not bad. You know, yeah, you very the candy. Yeah, simple. Mm -hmm. yep. And then I, I jumping on those robots. Yep. <laughs> it's always fun to jump on the head of a robot and yes. crush it. I mean, if you can do that <laughs> at some point in the day, it's a good day. Um, Stranger Things Barb's Revenge, of course, it was great because it's a, it's a hack of Dig Dug. Yeah, and James was, was too good at it. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, was like, it was, was like James's turn. Exactly. And Basically. Was just, I think it was on the easy level, though. Must have been. Uh, well, no, two, maybe not. Who maybe knows? Not. You might have just crushed. It's a yeah. game you're... Well, maybe, you, maybe you played a lot of Dig Dug? Yes, I have played yeah. a lot of Dig Dug. Um, Tombstones. That's a fun, Classic. fun game. That's a good a game. We played fun. that before. I'm so happy we finally got the electric thing working. Work, yeah, it's a completely we different game. Figure it out, but it had to be on the title screen, the actual electric. title screen. Yeah, yeah where all where you shoot the tombstones and they, they like stop. Then you can't touch them. But the way we were playing, you could touch them. Oh, and it made it a lot harder. Freddy's Fear Factory, obviously a hack of a very good game. That was fun. very challenging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Blair Witch Project, a fun game as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. This was good. Um, Elvira, um, very hard. Very hard. Oh my platformer. god, that was like yeah, that was one difficult. of the more challenging ones. I think I'm just maybe not good. Like when we played Zippy, when we did, you yeah. know. I think my platformer <laughs> abilities and skill set is like it's lower on the uh, yeah. but that was very hard for me and I love platformers. It was just really difficult. Uh Monsters Revenge, we played that before. Um that was the one where you were thing in the center. You're shooting oh, all this stuff. Oh, yeah, and you're shooting it. Now stuff. that we knew how to play it, it was a lot more playable. It's the same thing with like, the games like that. It's tough when you just, like, things just come at you and you're, you're yeah. stationary. You just even being able to move, all of a sudden you feel like it's... <laughs> it feels less trapped. It's like Pong, even though, you know, you're moving the thing. Mm -hmm. It's like you're moving. Moving at least a little bit. If you just stand in one spot and fire, it feels, like, tough. And then, uh, of course, Tire Tracks, um, the zero-page Halloween edition. Oh, so good. He made that just especially for oh, the show. Really? Wow. Yeah, Muddy oh, that's Funster. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so that was really, really nice of him. Was uh, that just the one level or uh yeah, the well, the two levels with the witch. So he changed the graphics of the witch to be just I saw the witch. I today. thought that was really, really Which is amazing. well yeah. done. Yeah, that was really yeah. well done. So thanks everybody for mm -hmm. tuning in to the special Halloween show. We'll be back on Friday with Tanya. Um, because Darcy's not going to be here. I'm not going to be here either. You're not so. going to be here. <laughs> Are you available Friday? I don't think I'm available Friday. Oh, no. we will not have a show on Friday. <laughs> We're going to be bumping it to Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, he's found the pumpkin. <laughs> we bump in the show to Wednesday, um, unless something else happens. But we'll be playing uh, Rail Slider, uh, Chip Off, Magic Maze, and Dungeon. Wow. Dungeon number one. I have Dungeon 1 and 2 that I bought at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Ooh, um, so cool. we'll be heading into Dungeon 1, first of all, and see how well we do there. And uh, I played a little bit more of Seaweed Assault oh, <laughs> the yeah. other day. Not today, but the other day. Yeah, and I, I came down a, here and I saw him. A, him, he, him uh, how'd you, did you get a better score? I did get a better score, what so score I bumped it up. It's like, oh, like 3,000 something, so I'm like in fourth fifth Damn. place now yeah so because i was not happy with my my uh my outcome Overall my score. score no it was way too low i knew i could get a lot better uh very nice only two original commercial games are halloweenish the rest are homebrew or hacks yes um unfortunately there are not a lot of kind of scary homebrew games yeah, most it's people tricky. don't make scary we're ones. Get, you gotta get some, like, I think, like, the horror genre is all about the sound design. Yeah. And it's all about the first person action. And, could, and this one does scary, like, you can make sound effects when things come on yeah. the screen and jump out at you. Whoa, buddy, I think. No, no, no. He's no, no, trying no. to run away with trying the to candy. Eat candy. Yeah. He thinks <laughs> it's cat doing? food. Uh, 
So we'll be back on Wednesday with um, Erlen. I'll be here. Yeah, so Friday we're off. So enjoy your Friday. Yeah. Everybody, you don't have to tune in. <laughs> and uh, so thanks for hanging out. Ice Posta, Arena Foot, Retro Happy Hour, Muddy Funster, uh, Wade Rain, Ground Trooper, Poodadoo. <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah, man. Hey, welcome, Poodadoo. Yeah. And Zybot, Zybot 67. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ground yeah. Trooper, yeah. Muddy Funster. Yeah. Got all the oh, Jared Gray West, West. Yeah. Wade Rain. Uh, there was definitely somebody yeah. else kicking around. Splendid yeah, night. Splendid Night. Yay. There we go. Yeah. So we got all of them. So thanks for tuning in and have a good night. And we will see you next Wednesday see on you. Zero Page Homebrew. See you next Wednesday. Bye bye. bye. Oh, where's the stop button? There it is. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>